Good to see you again. I'll talk to you later, okay? Should have built that house long ago. I can't 
think. Are you... Are you a doctor? Did the... Did the United States Space Administration send you... They must have issued you a stim pack, right? Oh, thank you. So... You're real after all, huh? That's a relief. Mm. Oh. I can feel it working, but... Oh, just... So tired. Not sure if I can stand quite yet. Mm. <sighs> My name is Commander Sofia Daguerre. I'm an astronaut with the USSA. <clears throat> it's a pleasure to meet you. My ship crashed nearby. I, I could barely walk, but somehow I made it here. I must have hit my head in the crash. Hard to remember. Yes, I'm the pilot of the Deep Sleep mission. Launched in 2070. Maybe you recognize me from the news? <laughs> well, minus the head wound. Thanks for your concern. I'm still woozy, but much better. Thanks. I... I said that already, didn't I? Oh, that's a relief. Thank you. I figured the military would have arrived for the crashed ship. It's been... a while, though. I still haven't heard from my crew, either. Oh, God. I can't believe this is happening. I need to find my crew. Contact the USSA. Oh, get some first aid. <sighs> One thing at a time, though. Where am I, anyway? The remnants of Appalachia? What do you mean? I, I, I remember... Almost... damn it. What do you mean, remnants? Uh, the mechanical engineer on the crew. Uh, Dr... Uh, Dr. Bernard. He helped me into the deep sleeper pod. He said, see you in a few years. And we waved at each other. We launched the deep sleep mission in 2070, and I entered the hibernation pod very shortly after we achieved orbit. Why do you ask? Oh. Oh no. Oh, that is not the kind of question I was hoping to hear right now. I was supposed to emerge in 2075, with an optional extension to 2080, if things were going well. Are you serious? You can't be serious. Tell me you're just trying to be funny here. Please. Fail-safes. We had contingencies. We... Damn it. I think... I need to focus on just finding my crew. There were three others, and I just... I didn't see anybody. Or any bodies. So they had to be in the ship, or... Maybe only my emergency pod crashed? I, I don't know. Could you go to the crash site? Look for the ship's flight recorder. It, it's not far. Not far at all. 
I can't walk much right now, but you can almost see it from here. Almost. Take a right from the bunker. Cross the river. It's not too deep. Then... Uh, it's up the mountain a bit. I fell down the slope. Not sure how far. Uh, follow the mountain ridge. Look for smoke. You should be able to find it easily. Thank you. I truly appreciate it. My body is still shaking, so I'm gonna just try to stay still and listen to the comms. Just in case. I'm guessing nobody from the Space Administration was up there, collecting evidence and looking for survivors. Huh. Oh, that's a relief. Now, we just have to decrypt it to access the data. Our ship's robot would have had a standard-grade USSA encryption key. If it survived the crash, it would be heading back to the nearest military depot. Oh, right. Uh, of course. There's... There's an emergency code. Uh, blue Sunset. I can't believe I forgot that. The escape pod's robot is... A, an assaultron, I think. It's responsible for the encryption key. Last I was able to check its signal, it was returning to... Uh, a, a military base, or... doing diagnostics? It's hard to tell. It's simple, really. Get to the robot, and get the encryption key. I can tune its transmitter signal to your external device there. You should be able to track it down.
warning. Do not interfere. This unit... Warning. Do not interfere. This unit is on an emergency assignment. Direct inquiries to Director of the USSA. Access code received. Validating code. Confirming identity. Accepted. Welcome, Commander Daguerre. Transmitting encryption key as requested. Terminating transmission. This unit will now continue to USSA custody presently. Stand back. I had hoped I could reprogram this console here. But it's barely functional. Did you find the encryption key? Oh, perfect. I just uh, need a console to work with so I can analyze the data. I don't suppose you know of a good electronics store, eh? Oh. It holds data related to our positions, so the rescuers can find all of us. In case something happens on re-entry. A failsafe, really. I don't know if it will work, but I don't know how else to find my crew without this, since our comms are down. Nothing, I guess. Until I can get it to a working console. I'm not sure it'd be worth it, all the flooding down here, but we might be able to rebuild it, uh, above ground. You wouldn't know of a secure location, would you? Y you're sure? I mean, you've already done so much for me. Maybe just for a night or two, until I feel better. Thank you. I don't want to slow you down, though. Maybe you should take these schematics. Get that console rebuilt at your camp. I should be able to get there by the time it's built. And, hey, thanks for your help. I bet this was not what you planned to do today, but I'm real glad you found me. Welcome to the, uh, uh, hmm. Yeah, my memory's just a little foggy. I get no credit around here. My memory is plenty sharp. Have a lovely stay.
Hi, <laughs> welcome to the Mountainside Bed and Breakfast. This is the best and most affordable bed and breakfast in the region. Well, uh, you're looking at her. I manage this place with my husband, Hubert. Be mindful around him, please. He's very forgetful at this stage in his life. Of course. Not only will you get a good night's sleep, but Hubert will feed you when you wake up in the morning. You can stay the night for five caps. That's too bad. Overseer's log. Somewhere in the mountains. Not for the last time. 